Dear students, welcome back to a new mathematics session. In today's session, we shall discuss the word problems from exercise 3.5. Let's move on to the topic. Let us have a quick recall on last class topic. In the last class, we have discussed about the cross multiplication method and we have solved some questions. We have solved to find the value of variables like x and y by using the cross multiplication method and I have told you to by heart the formula that is x is x divided by b1 c2 minus b2 c1 equal to y divided by c1 a2 minus c2 a1 equal to 1 divided by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 and also we have learned a shortcut or a diagram to recall this formula without mistake there was we have written first x y and 1 and next we have to go with b1 b2 then c1 c2 then a1 a2 then we have to go with b1 and b2 then we have to go for cross multiplication that is b1 b2 sorry b1 c2 next we have to go with b b2 c1 again c1 a2 next c2 a1 again a1 b2 and next a2 b1 this is what we have learned in the previous class now we will move on to the exercise the first question is form the pair of linear equations in the following problems and find their solutions if they exist by any algebraic method the first question it is a word problem a part of monthly hostel charge is fixed and the remaining depends on the number of days one has taken food in the mess. When a student A takes food for 20 days, she has to pay rupees 1000 as a hostel charge, whereas a student B who takes food for 26 days, he has, uh, she has to pay 1180 as hostel charge. Find the fixed charge and the cost per day. In this question, when we analyze, they are telling about two things. The first one is about a fixed charge. What do you mean by a fixed charge? A fixed charge means whether you use it or not, whether you are staying or not, you have to pay the fixed charge. The next is how many days you are taking food from that particular hostel. We have to count that number of days and you have to pay accordingly. So the total amount will be calculated like this. Fixed charge will be added with how many days you are taking food from that hostel these two amounts will be added and will considered as a total amount so let us take the fixed charge here it is box and the cost of food per day that we will take it as y so x is fixed charge and y is the cost of food per day we will go to the first condition little bit of rough work First condition is you see a student A takes food for 20 days. A student A takes for food for 20 days and she have got a bill of thousand rupees. She has to pay thousand rupees. How this thousand rupees comes? Fixed charge X she has to pay plus she have taken 20 days food from the mess. So 20 days into one day food charge is y so 20 days food is 20 into y equal to 1000 so the first equation goes like this fixed charge x plus 20 days food that is 20 into y is equal to 1000 second condition again student b takes food for 26 days so after 26 days she has to pay 1180 here also same thing fixed charge is x 26 days food charge y 26 into y equal to 1180 the condition equation x plus 26 into y equal to 1180 now when you analyze equation number one and two you see the coefficient of x is same here so instead of going cross multiplication method elimination method will be easy here so just to subtract one and two equation one and two if you subtract 20 minus 26 that is minus 6y 1000 minus 1180 that is minus 180 then y will be equal to this minus minus cancelled and y to calculate y bring 6 to the right side that is 180 by 6 so the final answer y we will get it as rupees 30 now 
using this value in equation number 2 we have got y value here just to substitute in equation number 2 I have taken here 2 any equation you can take 1 or 2 according to your convenience or your wish second equation if you take x is equal to 26 y we have to bring to the right side that is 1180 minus 26 into y y is 30 so x is equal to 1180 minus 26 into 30 final answer we will get it as x is equal to 400 and we have got both the charges that is the fixed charge is rupees 400 and the charge per day is rupees 30 so what you have to do is it is if it is clear you just copy down the answer or else you have to rewind it and we have to go through the question and its conditions and how the equations are formulated and how it is solving so please rewind it and watch once again and once it is understood please copy it to your notebook now move on to the next question the question goes like this a fraction becomes 1 by 3 when 1 is subtracted from the numerator and it becomes 1 by 4 when 8 is added to its denominator. Find the fraction. Here it is dealing with the term fraction. As we all know that a fraction means a number which carries both the numerator and the denominator. Means we have to assume numerator and the denominator separately. So we have to assume numerator be x and the denominator be y. And we have to write the fraction as x divided by y, numerator by denominator. We have to go to the first condition. Condition goes like this. When 1 is subtracted from the numerator, the fraction becomes 1 by 3. 1 is subtracted from the numerator. Here it is. 1 is subtracted from the numerator. Fraction becomes 1 by 3. So here is the numerator x. So you are subtracting 1 from x that is x minus 1. Denominator as it is, it is not mentioning here in the condition. So denominator no change. Fraction is changing to 1 by 3. Just cross multiply it to 3 into x minus 1 that is 3 into x that is 3x. 3 into 1 that is 3. Y into 1 that is y. Rearrange it. Y bring to the left. 3 bring to the right side. When y come to the left side, it becomes minus 3. When 3 goes to the right side, it becomes plus 3. So 3x minus y is equal to 3. Label it as equation number 1. Move on to the second condition. When 8 is added to its denominator, fraction becomes 1 by 4. Here is dealing with only denominator. So numerator, there is no change. x by y when you bring x, there is no change numerator. Denominator is adding 8. So 8 is added. Fraction becomes 1 by 4. As before, cross multiply it 4 into x that is 4x, 1 into y that is 1y, 1 into 8 that is 8. Rearrange it, y bring to the left side that becomes 4x minus y equal to 8. Label it as equation number 2. Here also you see y, here also y. So it is elimination method is bit easy here. So we will move on to solving these two equations. Just write down two equations and after that we have to subtract 1 and 2 here 3x minus 4x 3x minus 4x is minus x and minus y minus minus y two minuses are there here it is minus y minus subtraction minus and again here minus y so minus y minus minus y is plus y minus y plus y is eliminated 0 3 minus 8 that is minus 5 so here both the terms minuses are there just cancelled x is equal to 5. So substitute this value in equation number 1. Equation number 1 when you take 3 into 5 that is 15 minus y equal to 3. So minus y is equal to 15 goes to the right side it becomes 3 minus 15 then minus y is equal to minus 12 y is equal to 12. So we have got both x value and y value. Now just write down x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 12 and we have to write the fraction as 5 by 12. So just go through the question again. Just rewind it and go through the conditions and form the equations. Once again you just go through it and if it is understood please copy down the answers to the notebook. Move on to the next question. The question goes like this. Yars scored 40 marks in a test. 
getting 3 marks for each right answer and losing 1 mark for each wrong answer. Had 4 marks been awarded for each correct answer and 2 marks been deducted for each incorrect answer, the Yash would have scored 50 marks. How many questions were there in the test? Just we will have a brief explanation about the conditions given to you. She scored 40 marks. Altogether 40 marks she scored. In that 40 marks, the mark allocation was 3 marks for right answer and 1 mark deducted for wrong answer. Adding 3 marks for one right answer and deducting 1 mark for a wrong answer. Condition goes like this. If 4 marks been awarded instead of 3, 4 marks been awarded for a correct answer, 2 marks been awarded deducted for incorrect answer, before it was 1, instead of 1, 2 marks been deducted, she would have scored 50 marks. So the question is, how many questions were there in the test? We will go for the assumption that the number of right answers x, number of wrong answers y because in the condition both it is telling wrong answers and right answers also it is dealing so we have to take x and y and the total number of questions will be x plus y means correct answer answers questions also will be there wrong answer questions also will be there together x plus y will be the total questions first condition very clear here i have already explained three marks for each right answer so we have according to our assumption we have got x right answers so one question three mark we have x questions so total mark is 3x again one mark for each wrong answer and the she's attended y wrong answers one mark for y questions one mark into y that is one y and total she scored 40 mark how she have got correct answers together she got 3x mark and the wrong answers she got y marks and this from here 3x if you subtract to y she will get the total mark that is what the first condition 3x minus y is equal to 40 3x she got from correct answers y mark she got from wrong answers since the wrong answer marks will be deducted you have to subtract total 40. Second condition, 4 marks awarded for each correct answer. We have x correct answers. So total mark is 4x. One question will get 4 mark. We have x questions. So total 4x marks. Two marks deducted for incorrect answer. We have y wrong answers. So 2 into y, 2y marks will be deducted. So 4x will be added. 2y will be subtracted because 4x correct mark correct answers mark 2y wrong answers mark so condition 4x minus 2y is total she will get 50 marks both the equations are there we have to solve and we have to find out the value of x and y we shall solve these two equations 3x minus y is equal to 40 we'll label it as equation number one 2x minus y is equal to 25 that is our second equation and here there is same coefficients terms are there where there is a minus y and here also minus y same quantities if you subtract it will be zero means you can use it elimination method so just one minus two if you put we will be getting as x is equal to 15 we know that when while subtracting the signs will be changing this minus this 2x becomes minus 2x and this minus y becomes plus y and this plus 25 becomes minus 25. Then 3x minus 2x. Here there is 3x and uh, here there is minus 2x. 3 minus 2 is 1x. So 1x is equal to 40 minus 25 is 15. So x we have got directly answer 15. Then put this value in equation number 1. We will be getting as 3 into 15 minus y is equal to 40. We here we have to put x as 15. So 3 into 15 is 45 minus y is equal to 40 minus y is equal to 45 we can bring to the right side it comes as 40 minus 45 so minus y is equal to minus 5 will be getting 40 minus 45 is minus 5 both the side minus minus cancelling means y we will be getting 5 so we have got the number of right answers that is our x assumption that is equal to 5 and the number of wrong answers that is our y we are getting as 15 sorry 5 
so we have one more question the number of questions number of question means we have to add these two the right answers and the wrong answers together if you add total number of questions you will be getting so the number of questions is 15 plus 5 that is equal to 20 to the next question places a and b are 100 km apart on a highway one car starts from a and another from b at the same time if the car travel in the same direction at different speeds they meet in five hours if they travel towards each other they meet in one hour what are the speeds of the two cars first of all i will tell you this question is a little bit complicated and it's not a problem how much time we have taken but make sure that each and every point is understood clearly and or else it will be a bit difficult for you to solve these type of questions if it asked in the board examination so what we have to calculate here we have to calculate the speed of the two cars there are two cars starting from a also one car is starting from a another car is starting from b we have to find out the speed of car a and the speed of car b also a and b are 100 km apart the distance between a and b places a and b is 100 km and the conditions are little carefully we have to go through one car is starting from a same time another car is starting from b also and they are traveling in the same direction they are traveling in the same direction that i will show you in the diagram later different speeds and they will meet in five hours they travel towards each other towards each other means opposite direction they meet in one hour what are the speeds of the two cars as before we will go for the assumptions speed of the car from starting from point a that is x kilometer per hour speed of car starting from point b that is y kilometer per hour assumption is over first condition we will go if the car travels in the same direction here it is mentioned the cars travel in the same direction that is our first condition then we will go a little bit of rough work this no need to write it in the notebook just keep it in your mind for understanding purpose we have one place a and there is one car here a and there is another point b another place b another car also waiting there and the distance between a and b that is given to you 100 kilometer in the question once again there is a place a and a car is there there is place b there is another car is there distance between a and b is given to you 100 kilometer then the condition goes like that from a also car is starting and moving towards c c the arrow moving towards c and from b also car is starting and moving towards c c the direction both are same direction right but different speed car a also traveling with one speed and car b also traveling with another speed and they will meet at c a and b of course one speed will be more than the another one of course surely they will be meeting at point c after five hours in the question it is given to you after five hours so this is the diagrammatic representation of the first condition once again a car is starting from a it is going towards c b a car is another car is starting this also moving towards c and a and b distance is given to you 100 kilometer and these two cars they will meet at c after five hours so distance formula we know distance traveled by an object that is speed into time so distance traveled by car a car a we have to go with the speed of car a speed of car a we have taken x so it is written here x into time time taken in the condition it is given a is traveling and coming to c in five hours so x into 5 that is 5x so distance traveled by car a car a is co coming to c and the distance traveled is a to c that is ac so ac length of ac or the distance ac is 5x next distance traveled by car b see here b also starting from here a particular speed is here b also going towards c distance traveled by car b means b to c that is bc formula is speed into time car b speed is according to our assumption that is y it is written here y into as before the time is five hours so five 
y now from the diagram we can come to the conclusion that a b plus b c you see here a to b and b to c if you add together we will get a c so that is what is written here a b plus b c equal to a c now from here a b we can calculate bring b c to the right side so a c minus b c that's all we will write the equation a b a b we have a to b distance is given 100 kilometer a c a c we have calculated 5x this written b c we have calculated 5y this written here this is our first equation 5x minus 5y is equal to 100 so here you see 5 5 100 5 is common cancel it so x minus y is equal to 20 that is our first condition equation move on to the second question second condition sorry if they travel in opposite directions so we'll move on to the rough work from point A car A is starting from point B car B is also starting they are traveling towards each other they are traveling towards each other means opposite direction from A it is moving towards this side from B it is moving towards this side and finally they will come to C meeting point and they will meet in one hour that is what our condition okay so distance traveled by car a a means a to c is traveling car is traveling so speed into time so speed of a is x they will meet in one hour it was told you here one hour so time is one hour that is one into x that is x distance traveled by car b that is bc bc again speed into time car b speed is y time it is one hour they will meet in one hour so one into y that is y then we have from the diagram ac plus bc is equal to ab okay so ac ac we have x here bc we calculate here y so x plus y equal to ab according to the question it is given to ab here 100 kilometer apart so a to b is 100 kilometer that is our second condition x plus y is equal to 100 so we will mark it as second equation next we shall solve the two equations x minus y is equal to 20 we have taken as equation number 1 and x plus y is equal to 100 that we have got as equation number 2 from the second condition then here even if you add one variable will be 0 means minus y plus y when we add it will be 0 even if you subtract minus x and sorry x minus x so if you subtract this also x also can be 0 so any one option you can take here i am going for adding 1 plus 2 implies when i add 1 and 2 i will be getting here x plus x x plus x is 2x is equal to 120 here when we add minus y and plus y together 0 so 2x is equal to 120 will be getting x is equal to 120 by 2 that is equal to 60 x we have got so here 60 if i get as value of x this is substituted in any one of the equation here i am choosing equation number 2 x plus y is equal to 100 if i put x value as 60 60 plus y is equal to 100 y is equal to 100 minus 60 100 minus 60 is 40 y is equal to 40 we have got then x and y values we have got let's write the final answer speed of the car starting from a that is our x as per our assumption a 60 km per hour and the speed of the car starting from b that is our y as per assumption so that is 40 km per hour now move on to the last question of this exercise the question goes like this the area of a rectangle gets reduced by 9 square units if its length is reduced by 5 units and breadth is increased by 3 units if we increase the length by 3 units and the breadth by 2 units the area increases by 67 square units find the dimensions of the rectangle this question also a little bit confusing if you read once so we have to break down the question into different pieces and we have to bring to the algebraic format so here it is mentioning about the area of a rectangle something happening to the area of a rectangle what is happening here area is reduced by 9 units so the area simply will not reduce some changes are taking place in the length so length is reduced by 5 and breadth is increased by 3 if you reduce the length 5 
and increase the breadth 3, rectangle area is reduced 9 units. The same way, increase the length by 3 units and breadth by 2 units. Here both are increasing. Length also 3 units, breadth by 2 units. Then area increases by 67 units. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. So we have two dimensions that is length and breadth of the rectangle that is x and y we have assumed. Now once length is x and breadth is y as we know that area of rectangle is L into B that is x into y is the area. First condition I have explained to you before the same thing length is reduced by 5 reduced reduced means subtraction so length is x minus 5 before it was x reducing means 5 reduced breadth is increased by 3 increased by 3 means adding 3 your breadth is y you are adding 3 y plus 3 then area of rectangle reduced by 9 before the area was x y from there 9 is deducted so the condition goes like this new length that is x minus 5 new breadth that is y plus 3 length into breadth is the area new area that is x uh, x y minus 9 so we have to expand it x into y that is x y x into 3 that is 3x minus 5 into y that is minus 5y minus 5 into 3 minus 15 equal to x y same minus 9 same bring the like terms together here x y x y cancelled and 3x minus 5y minus 15 is equal to minus 9 xy xy gone next 3x minus 5y equal to this minus 15 bring to the right side that is minus 9 plus 15 minus 9 plus 15 is 6 this one will go for equation number 1 and to move on to the second condition second condition also we had a little bit explanation before increase the length by three units you have a previous length x increase means plus three so new length will be x plus three increase the breadth by two so you have a breadth y increase means plus two that is y plus two so the condition says the area will increase 67 square units so before area we have assumed xy xy from xy 67 square units increased that is xy plus 67 condition we can write it in algebraic format new length that is x plus 3 new breadth that is y plus 2 when you multiply length into breadth you will get the area that is equal to our area is what old area increased 67 so xy plus 67 remove the bracket x into y xy x into 2 2x 3 into y 3y 3 into 2 6 xy plus 67 as it is here xy xy cancelled and finally 2x plus 3y 2x plus 3y plus 6 equal to 67 bring this 6 to the right side that is 2x remains same 3y remains same 67 minus 6 plus 6 goes to the right side that is minus 6 so 67 minus 6 is 61 this will mark it as equation number 2 as before we have to solve these two equations by using cross multiplication method i stick on the particular method here because we have used very less um, cross multiplication to solve uh, equations in this exercise so let us solve this equation by using cross multiplication method and after that compare your answers with your textbook answers and to make sure that it is matching dear students today we have discussed word problems from exercise 3.5 and as far as the difficulty level, level is concerned this is a bit different from other exercise questions i request all the students to go through the questions and solve the questions independently and while solving if you have any doubt please note it and keep we will discuss it during the discussion session thank you for watching